Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and I hope you are doing well. If this is the first time you are coming to my channel and you like the topics that I cover, please do uh, subscribe to my channel. It's free and that way you can help my channel grow. And after watching this video, if you find it informative, helpful, as well as entertaining, please do give me the like. And if you'd like to support me financially, you can click the join button and you can become a member and that way you can financially support me. Or if you want to make a one-off donation, again, you're most welcome. There is a PayPal link in the description. You can click and donate and I truly appreciate all your support. So let's get on with the video. So should you ditch Microsoft Windows 10 or even 11 and join the Linux bandwagon? That is a topic of discussion in today's video. So why you should ditch Windows 10 now? Because Windows 10 is coming to its end of its life, no longer supported by end of this year, 2025. You've got two options. One is to upgrade to Windows 11 with all of its privacy issues and everything else in between, or you can to move to Mac OS with its own problems where they recently upgraded their operating system and most of the applications uh, don't work. You have to wait for the developers to up, uh, update their software. This includes plugins for our DAWs. <laughs> yeah, or you can jump on a Linux bandwagon like I'm doing. Now, jumping onto Linux, as you would have seen in my previous videos that I've been doing for the past uh, several months now, uh, it does come with its own problems, but they are easy to solve. But before I continue and open the discussion in the comment section so that we can discuss uh, whether you should uh, go to Linux or move to Windows 11 or to Mac OS, let me be something clear. This video is addressed to people uh, who are in uh, home recording studios um, or amateur or semi-professional studios or studios like mine, which is a hobby studio. So we can afford and put the time in to, to discover Linux and all of the uh, problems and associated with moving from one operating system to another. But if you are uh, running your music production as a business, as a commercial, and you rely on that to make money, and most of your tools are on Windows or Mac OS, if you are on the Mac OS uh, platform, then this is not for you. Because even though there may be a lot of applications that you use today on Windows available on Linux platform, the move my, has to be slower because you rely on that uh, commercial part. You need, are making money from it. And if you're not making and you're stuck and your systems are broken, you know, you can't do that. Uh, commercial, it's just not viable. Of course, there are alternatives. Like I have explained, the way I'm doing it is I still have my Windows 10 hard drive in this in my computer but i have purchased a separate ssd drive a 256 gig to try linux and move on to there without disrupting my windows so when my clients come in even though this is a hobby uh, studio but i still have clients that actually pay uh, when they come in i've switch uh, the day before into my uh, windows uh, hard drive and everything as it was so no changes there. So whenever I'm in the studio with my own time for my own projects, I'm discovering and learning Linux on another hard drive. has all completely separate. And that's what you could do as well. And, and see if it's viable and works enough for you, even if you are running your uh, studio as a commercial base, to move to Linux. Now the, the uh, pro for Linux is unlike... 15, 20 years ago when I was uh, dealing with Linux. These days, installing this Linux operating system and set up all ready to go was in less than an hour. That included downloading the ISO files, burning it onto uh, a USB, uh, US, USB stick, and then installing Linux and everything else. It took about an hour and up and, and, up and going. So I'm quite happy with this setup with Linux. It's private, it's secure, it runs super fast. It runs twice as fast 
as my Windows system because it's not running all of this useless uh, background processing on Windows. It it's uses about one and a half gig of, for the operating system and the CPU, when it's idle, it's about two or three percent. And when I'm running my DAW uh, and plugins and everything else, so that moves up to maybe about 20 to 30 percent of CPU use when I've got about 30 tracks and quite a uh, loaded with plugins. And the, the RAM, which my PC has about 16 gigs. Yeah, that's how, I, how, how much RAM I have. And most of the time, it doesn't go above 10 gigs of use when I'm running a project on there. So it, and it's super fast. So those are the pros. Now the cons of running on Linux. Of course, you're going to miss out on many of the VST plugins available on Windows. Having said that, there are lots of plugins available on Linux that can do the same job and even more, which is not available on um, Windows or Mac OS. So there's that alternative as well. And most of them are free as well. There are commercial plugins that uh, the developers that develop for Windows and Mac OS also develop for the Linux platform, which is great that you can buy. So if you're using those plugins on Windows, you can move to uh, Linux. You're going to miss out on some of the plug favorite plugins, especially if the plugin is using that goddamn iLock system. So if you've got that, it's not going to work because iLock is a process that runs in the background on Windows, you know, keeping, you know, in control of everything what's being used, a licensing system. So if you got that, unfortunately, that's one of the cons. You can't use those plugins. Like I love to use my universal audio plugins. It's got iLock I can't use. And there are a few other plugins that I uh, love to use uh, on Linux. Again, they use iLock, so I cannot use them. Now, having said that, there are ways you can use Windows VST plugins, VST2 or VST3, that in, in Linux using Wine and YA Bridge, which allows you to use the plugins as if they're native Linux. I haven't experienced that because I haven't had the a chance to install or even the reason to install and try them yet. Uh, but I will make a video on them in the future as I use them on my system to see how well it will work. But there are a lot of people who used YA Bridge to use Windows VST plugins on their Linux system and DAW. Of course, similarly, if you are using FL Studio then uh, or native instruments, the same way you can use Wine to be able to run them on Linux. Again, I have don't have that experience. Well, that's my part of the story. What is your part of the story? Have you had any experience uh, running Linux? Or maybe you are running Linux on uh, for your music production. Share your you know experiences uh, in the comment section below uh, uh, with, with me and we can discuss that. And if you are thinking of moving to Linux, if you're not sure, just watch some of my videos and you can see how easy it is to move from Windows uh, to Linux. Again, use the comment section below to ask questions. I'm not a Linux expert, but I'll do my best to answer all of the questions uh, as much as I can. I'm sure a lot of other people who have experience uh, on Linux for music production, they'll be able to help you out as well. The whole reason for this video is to open up the communication uh, between us and let's discuss it and help each other and support each other. We are all creative people and we need our tools to work. So we are concentrating on being creative rather than following up uh, bugs and issues and things not possible and so on. So we can help each other and solve all the problems in the world if we wanted to. Maybe. At the same time, if you are stuck on Windows and you have no choice but to move to Windows 11, um, let us know, you know, share your grief with us. <laughs> because I know Windows 11, so many people complain about, especially the privacy issues on there. I haven't moved to Windows 11 and I hopefully never will be uh, or never need to. 
So because I'm moving to Linux, I'm about 60 to 70% there moving to Linux. The way my workflow is, the way I work, well, Linux works for me. As I said, it may not work for everybody, but have a look because even if you are not sure, just uh, spend a few dollars buying uh, an SSD card and install Linux on there. So without this disturbing your current operating system, whether if it's Windows or Mac OS, and then give it a try on Linux and see if it's, it will work for you. You'll be surprised because as I said, it's quite easy to install these days Linux. There are a lot of distributions, but uh, the distribution I'm using is what I would recommend, which is the KDE Neon Plasma 6.3 at the moment. No crashes, no issues, everything runs as it should. Well, that's it for today's video. Let's uh, open the discussion and discuss um, our music production from moving from Windows to uh, Linux in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and have a great time making music and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio guys.